So how is this even possible? How is it that just because I have the 4K tow package, same thing works with the trimmer off-road package, just so you know, just because I have that package with the 4K towing, how is it possible that I get the equivalent of nearly all the torque from the engine, 277 pound-feet is what it puts out, well, almost that amount, added in to the overall wheel torque, how much torque is sent to the wheels when everything is multiplied through, how is that possible that I get almost an entire engine's worth of torque just by adding that 4K tow package? Well, if you want to see more of the background math for this, please watch my video. There's the link for it up there. I'll include some additional details down below in the description. But let's do some very quick math. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. If you love math, you can experiment with this on your own. It works with any vehicle, although obviously you'll need to plug in the numbers for the varying parameters. And yes, there is going to be a difference with whether you have a torque converter, automatic transmission, as opposed to a manual transmission. The Maverick has an automatic, so I'll be touching on the additional information related to that as well. That's separate for right now, though. Okay, so quick math, 277 pound-feet of torque at 3,000 RPM from the EcoBoost engine. Take that 277, multiply it by the first gear ratio, multiply that by the final drive ratio, with the final drive ratio being 3.63 with the standard final drive, then the total torque being applied to the wheels, not even counting any multiplication from the torque converter, the total torque would be 4,715 pound-feet approximately. So write down and remember that number if you want to, it's up to you. But 4,715. If you go through that same equation, same engine, same first gear ratio, but you change the drive ratio, just that fraction, and yes, it is just a fraction, from 3.63, the standard, up to 3.81 with the 4K tow package or the Tremor off-road package, then instead of having a result of 4,715 pound-feet, we have a result of just about 4,950. So I'll do that math for you. That is about 235 pound-feet of torque extra that is added to the wheels, not counting the multiplication from the torque converter. I'll get back to that in a moment. So 235 pound-feet different. How much does the engine put out? 277 pound-feet. So as far as actual numbers, if we look at them that way, it's like adding the torque from the engine with no multiplication at all, no multiplication through the first gear or through the final drive, and certainly not through the torque converter at this point in our math, just taking straight up torque from the engine, almost an entire engine's worth of torque and throwing that in and adding that to the wheels. And that's why even just a fraction difference in our final drive going from 3.63 up to 3.81 adds essentially an engine's worth of torque to the wheels. Okay, now let's talk about some more details here and how this can actually be even a greater difference than that. So in my previous video that I was telling you about, again, there's a handy dandy link up there. You can see that there is roughly two and a half times multiplication maximum from a standstill with the torque converter. Now, as the vehicle starts rolling, you're going to lose some of that multiplication because it's closer and closer to a one-to-one -one multiplication. If you're curious about torque converters, there's lots of great information on the web, lots of information in YouTube videos, 
fantastic illustrations. So feel free to check those out. <laughs> You'll get a lot more from that than you would just listening to me talk right now, <laughs> as far as torque converters go at least. But in any case, let's figure that in. So what was our difference? 235 pound-feet is what we figured for the difference in torque to the wheels. Well, if you multiply that by two and a half times, which is approximately what a typical torque converter can do at the maximum. Now, again, lots of variables here, but let's just throw that number out just to bring this into some perspective. So if you're doing that, we're looking at well over 500 pound-feet difference when we are taking all of these things into consideration from the final drive ratio and all of that. So yes, the final drive and the torque converter, they're in different places of the drivetrain, so you may not wanna count the torque converter multiplication. However, when all is said and done, the summary of this video is that having a little difference in the final drive ratio can make multiple pounds feet of torque difference at the wheels and it can be somewhere in the ballpark of about one to two engines worth of torque if that makes sense added directly to the wheels it doesn't mean your total torque is doubled it doesn't mean anything like that with just that fractional difference in the final drive, but it is hundreds of pound feet difference potentially. All right, well, that was a mouthful, but I thank you very much for taking a moment to watch this video. And I hope that if you haven't yet, that you do like and subscribe. And this is just still a starting channel so there's going to be things here that are not polished there are going to be things that might make you laugh and think oh my goodness who is this guy what does he think he's talking about but i do love math i do really enjoy learning about my maverick and about cars transmissions engines specifications well cars and relevant specs so thanks for watching and you all have a great rest of your day bye bye for now